Welcome to Planet's Materials Tutorial. In this tutorial I'm using Cabinet Vision Solid Ultimate version 9. The Material Manager is simply where you store all of your materials that can be used in a Cabinet Vision job. It can be accessed by selecting the material icon on the ribbon bar of your startup screen. Once the Material Manager is open you will notice the list on the sidebar is already sorted into categories for different material types and you will find that there are some generic materials and system materials that have already been set up and sorted within these categories. The groups can also be sorted further by you into subgroups that can help you define similar items and organise your materials so that you can find them more quickly. To create new subgroups right click on a group name and select Create Group. To move or reorganise the categories, use the tools here above the group names in the sidebar. All materials must be entered here in the Material Manager before they will be available inside a job. To create a new material, simply click on a category in the sidebar or a subgroup name and select New from the ribbon bar. Select the material type, the group the material will belong to, enter a name and a description. Only letters and numbers should be used in the material name. Grammar and symbols should never be included in the names as they can cause errors in solid. Depending on what type is selected for the material, you may be asked more questions to set up the material. If the next option is available, you should continue through all setup questions and answer those relevant to your material use. For example, when setting up board or panel stock, the thickness is extremely important for the material to work properly in a job design and the sheet size may also be just as important if you are optimising and manufacturing your job. When setting up handles, sizes and inset values are very important for the selected graphics to display correctly in your plans. When setting up hardware, operation information will be required if you are generating information for CNC or point-to-point -point machinery. When setting up miscellaneous materials, you will only be required to enter a name. The finished types and textures of these are usually set on the material after it has been created. If you cannot select the next option anymore in the new material wizard, select Finish to complete adding your new material. You can also copy existing materials by right clicking on the material in the workspace and selecting copy or select copy from the ribbon bar once the applicable material has been highlighted in the list. Sometimes you will not be able to add new materials due to the limitations based on the level of cabinet vision you are using. In this case you can nominate a material that already exists and make the changes you require to that material like the name, size, thickness etc. You must remember though that the material was likely being used in an existing schedule which means you will need to have a good understanding of material schedules in order to manage such changes. At the top of the material list in the workspace you will always find tabs with different options depending on what the material type is. Additionally when you right click on a material in the list you get up to five more options depending on the level of solid you are using. Copy is a shortcut for the option on the ribbon bar and an efficient tool in creating new materials that have similar properties and settings to an existing material. Delete is how you can remove a material from your material list. Alias is a shortcut for the option on the ribbon bar. This allows you to add an alias for the selected material. Aliases are materials which get most of their properties from the parent material with a few properties that are unique. This allows you to do things like create multiple panel stock materials which would all be the same with the exception of their name, sheet size and cost. So it's a good tool when you may use a combination of sheet sizes for the same material. For example, if you use 16mm whiteboard in 24x12 sheets and 36x12 sheets. Redefine allows you to rerun the new material wizard which will cause you to lose any changes you may have made in the model editor such as parameters or formulas. Properties is a shortcut for the option on the ribbon bar which opens the material properties where you can customise more settings on the selected material. Alternatively you can get to the material properties by double clicking on the material ID field. The options you have available to customise in the properties of a material will depend on the material type. When you open the material properties they open in a separate screen to the main material manager. There will typically be a general tab and an operations tab where you can edit information or enter more information about the material that you weren't prompted for during the new material setup wizard. 
The ribbon bar of the material properties area may contain the following tools. Return, which will close the material properties and return to the material manager. New, copy and delete are all fairly straightforward tools. Select lets you select a different material to work on while remaining in the material properties area. Advanced provides even more options for more advanced customizations. The kit option allows you to add miscellaneous materials to a kit attached to the selected material. This can be particularly handy for hardware items such as a handle where you create a kit that includes two screws for mounting. Composite is an option that allows you to set the structure of a composite material. A composite material is a sheet material consisting of several layers of sheet goods. The composite material manager is only available for a composite material type which can be selected in the wizard during the initial setup of a material. Parameters allows you to add a parameter to the currently selected material. Parameters are typically used to assign attributes that control other operations which may be activated via UCS. Vendors allows you to assign suppliers for the material. Profile allows you to associate a profile shape to a moulding material type. Model allows you to open the model editor. Here you can import 3D DXFs or sketch up 3D models to represent your selected material. This option is typically used for hardware items. Each material also has the ability to have customised finishes applied to it in the Material Manager. These can be set for a material using the tabs at the top of the materials list in the workspace. A finish is a default colour for the material. If you wish to be able to select the material colour in your job properties on the Room Finish tab or from the sidebar in your 3D view, then leave the setting in the Material Manager here as automatic. Finish types are how the material will appear in photo vision renders. Here is where you choose for a material to be shiny, matte, reflective or transparent like glass for example. The finish type is very important in creating realistic renders and it can alter the colour or texture of a material greatly. Textures are any patterns applied to the material. The pattern can be for a wood grain, marble or laminate selection or it can simply be a photograph or any other image you want to use within your job. If you wish to be able to select the material texture in your job properties on the room finish tab or from the sidebar in 3D view then leave the setting here in the material manager as blank. In addition to applying finishes, finish types and textures to individual materials you can enter the setup of these areas by selecting the options on the ribbon bar. Once in the setup you can customise your own finish types or import your own images for use as textures. The final tool you may have available to use in the material manager is the vendor option. This option allows you to manage your supplier information. Once a vendor has been set up here, it can be assigned to a material via the material properties vendors option as previously mentioned. Remember, all materials must be entered here in the material manager before they will be available inside a job and if you want the material to apply to parts within your design automatically you will need to use the material in the correct schedule. See our material schedules tutorial for more information on this topic. That concludes our materials tutorial. Thank you for watching.